event. Um, you probably will see this on a Wednesday and the event, no Thursday, <laughs> and the event will be is today. Uh, but I'm gonna film that for YouTube and post it on a Saturday. Um, and I am at my grandmother's place and I have nothing to wear, or I have something to wear, but I've left all my pieces that I have made uh, to the fashion show that I will attend. And I want to wear something homemade. So the event I'm going to today <laughs> is a slow fashion event in Stockholm, Sweden. And I want to wear something that I've made. So <laughs> I'm at my grandmother's place and she just pulled like from her cabins a curtain. And I think this one is beautiful. It's fairly short, but I think um, Leia is demonstrating it. <laughs> I think I could turn this one into a top or a bed for Leia. Why is she always sleeping on all my things? Um, so I think I could make this one into a top. But I just have a few hours before I need to leave with the train. Um, and I have my sewing machine with me because of course I bring my sewing machine. <laughs> um, so I will see if I can turn this curtain into a top in less than two hours. Because I packed in a rush yesterday uh, when I went to my grandmother's place, which is halfway between the event in Stockholm and Gothenburg, where I live. So I packed a top, but I had hoped that I would be able to make something homemade for this event. So I brought some fabric, but I like this fabric that my grandmother found, and it's fun to wear something that is hers. So let's see if we can turn this one into a top in two hours. Okay, so I have laid out the fabric double uh, because we have one front piece and one back piece. And since I only have a few hours, I'm gonna use this um, where you should have put the curtain rail. So I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna use as much hem as possible so that I don't have to sew so much and I don't know if you can see it's hard to see on the viewfinder at least but I think you can see that I had drawn a line here so this is for the armhole and this is up on the neck so my piece that I'm gonna use is 87 centimeters wide up no 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 <laughs> and I actually think it's a little bit short in the length. This is what I have too. So if you have the possibility, I would say that you need like longer fabric. Mine is like around 50 centimeters. So I'm gonna have this part up on my neck with some like ruching. And then I'm gonna put like a band in this one where you can tie like a big bow. And this is going to be the top, and this is the bottom part. And here is the armhole. So I'm gonna see if I can put, put, put um, picture on the screen and show you the measurements and what I'm thinking. So you can do this at home. But I think this one should be fairly easy. So I'm gonna cut out the armhole, and then I'm gonna fold this one to the other side, draw off to that side, and cut the other one. pieces cut out there are two there is two pieces that looks exactly the same but on the opposite side so hopefully you can see now a little bit what I'm thinking so then I'm thinking I'm gonna ruche the top part 
up on my neck is going to be like a polo, not polo, but high neck blouse. And this is what I'm thinking. I think you can see it now. And then I will take uh, the scrap part. I probably have to <laughs> like patchwork this one to a long band that I can thread through this hole for the curtain rail and then I will be able hopefully to make a big bow and tie it together so now I will just zigzag quickly the raw edges and then I'm gonna cinch it together here and there and I'm also gonna like make these a little bit more nicer because they are raw edges I guess I'm gonna see if I can like fold them inwards um, something like that without taking away the holes I'm gonna fold them inwards and then make a straight seam somehow or I'm just gonna skip that for now and make that after the event because as I said I do not have the time but I think it will I think it's gonna turn out good I think you can see it now so let's zigzag all the raw edges and since I've used as much of the hemmed part as I can I don't have to do this one and I don't have to do the bottom hem I just need to do the armholes on one side so I quickly hemmed it's not looking good I'm gonna iron it and hope for the best <laughs> so here we have like the neckline where the ruching will be so this will be a visible edge and then we have the arm hole like so hopefully Ooh, this can be a little bit tight I hope it will work it has to work or else I have to cut it a little bit more I'm gonna try it on later I might need to cut it. Yeah, hope, hopefully it works. Okay, so I have not hemmed this edge, which is going to be attached on the side. I've just hemmed this edge. So I zigzagged it and then I just, it's not looking good from this side. 
but we have no time. But it's looking good. If I'm gonna iron it, I think it will turn out fairly well. So I just folded it in, made a straight seam all along the armhole, uh, just to make it a little bit nicer. And I've done it on both sides of one of the pieces. So now I just have the other piece left. I have zigzag this one. So now I'm just gonna see if I can show you the difference. So this is it, just zigzagged. And this is when I have folded it in once. It's looking a little bit neater and more tidy. I showed you the wrong side, but no, it was the right one. So I'm gonna do the other one and see in a bit. Oh, I'm gonna pop you up. So what I've done now is that I have done the exact same thing with the other one. So we have one piece and we have two pieces. <laughs> and now I'm going to put them together in the side seam, so the seam that's going here. So I'm going to put them right sides together. It's so hard with this fabric to see. So right sides together like so on the both top parts and I'm gonna attach them here so this is the side seam I will attach them there um, I will probably use yeah like one centimeter seam allowance and then I'm gonna do the same thing over on the other side and then it's time to make the band and I hope I have enough fabric so let's put these pieces together. piece of fabric that is attached but I think you can like, like start understanding if you haven't already how it's supposed to work so I'm gonna put the band through the that and then we have the back piece I can't hold them both up at the same time and then we're gonna tie it together with a big bow so you don't need any like um, zipper or buttons or anything you just tie it together with the bow and that's how you come in and out of it I'm thinking <laughs> so I'm going to iron the hems I just did because I think that looks more nice and I'm gonna cut some loose threads and then I'm gonna start see if I can create some band with the leftover pieces I don't think it will look so good because I need a lot. I'm like imagine like a real big one, but I don't think I have enough fabric. So we have to do with what we have. That's the fun thing with creating stuff from curtains and especially a curtain you just found in your grandmother's cupboard because you wanted a homemade blouse for an event <laughs> when you just have two hours to make it. But let's keep going. So this is the pieces for the band, um, so I'm gonna zigzag the edges and then I'm gonna attach them together so that they make one long band and it's not that long, I don't know how long it is, we shall see. So they will become 76 is one, so they are fairly long, they will turn like 150, 140 with seam allowance. And I think that's enough, it's going to create a really big bow, I hope, in the end. So 
So let's attach these two pieces. And then I'm gonna see exactly all the edges. I wish it was longer so if you are making this at home I would suggest making a two meter long at least band so now I'm just gonna pull it through the top part I'm gonna use a safety pin to make it a little bit easier like so change a few things if I'm doing this again uh, this one should be longer it's a little bit short and I would have made it like longer in the back um, but I think it's cute so this is the outfit for the event <laughs> 